WWE and all of pro wrestling is scripted, but unlike movies and TV shows, wrestlers have only one take to get it right. However, sometimes things do not go as planned and wrestlers are forced to go off script. He's hurt! Other times, a wrestler gets so mad with how they're being used that they purposely go against what they are told to do. Starship pain! Now this is how the pros handle a bad situation in the ring. In November 2012, Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow fought the WWE Tag Team Champions Kane and Daniel Bryan. While Cody and Kane were the legal men, the Big Red Machine gave the future American Nightmare a back body drop. Cody ended up landing incorrectly, causing him to suffer a concussion and a separated shoulder. Kane, Bryan, and Sandow all realized that having Cody continue wrestling would only make the injury worse. However, they couldn't cut the match short either, so they restructured the match on the fly. Only Damian, Daniel, and Kane got physically involved for the remainder of the match, keeping Cody Rhodes safe while also still hitting their time cues. Unfortunately, things did not go this smoothly when John Moxley fought Ray Phoenix in AEW. In September 2023, Ray Phoenix fought the international champion, John Moxley. Moxley was supposed to retain his title, but this isn't what happened. Before the bell had even run, Phoenix hit Moxley with a senton on the outside. Unbeknownst to the referee and medical staff, John Moxley's head hit the floor and gave him a concussion. Even though he was injured, the man, formerly known as Dean Amber, Bros wrestled for another 12 minutes. However, the two wrestlers decide to have Phoenix win since Moxley would have to vacate the title anyway due to his injury. The referee was not aware of the change though and didn't count the pin, leading to an awkward moment. One, two, the ref got the message the second time, and Ray Phoenix ended the night with gold around his waist. As you've seen, wrestlers usually go off script when someone gets hurt, but in this next match, a wrestler went off script simply to make a point. Gail Kim, in a lot of ways, was ahead of her time. She competed during an era in WWE where female wrestlers were looked at more for their appearance than for their actual wrestling ability. Despite that, Kim was an extremely talented wrestler. She had been unhappy with her role in WWE for about a year and finally decided she had enough. In August 2011, Gail was one of 12 women competing in a battle royal match with the winner facing the Divas champion, Kelly Kelly, at SummerSlam. Within 15 seconds after the battle royal started, Gail Kim rolled under the rope and eliminated herself. While Kim wasn't supposed to win, she obviously wasn't supposed to break character and remove herself from the match. Gail did this due to her frustrations with WWE and simply to make a point. Not surprisingly, this ended up being Gail Kim's last WWE match and, a few weeks later, she was officially let go from the company. Okay, now get ready to cry when you hear about what happened in this next clip. In 2002, four WWE tag teams competed in a tables, ladders, and chairs match for the World Tag Team Championship. Two of the participants were Chris Jericho and Bubba Ray Dudley. At one point, Jericho gave Bubba a bulldog off a ladder. However, Bubba landed incorrectly and spiked his head on the mat, giving what he would later say was the worst concussion of his career, and you'll soon see why. The injury was so bad that Dudley forgot what he was supposed to do next and even how to do his own moves. Realizing his opponent needed help, Chris Jericho walked Bubba through the rest of the match, and they pulled it off flawlessly. It's also worth noting that when Kane was climbing the ladder to win the match, Jericho suddenly put his foot on the bottom of the ladder to help keep it steady for the Big Red Machine. However, the saddest part of the story is what happened afterward. Bubba's concussion was so bad that he had forgotten that his mother had died a few months earlier. While he was being examined, Bubba asked when she was coming to get him. When he was told she had died, Bubba had to relive the grief that his mom wasn't with him anymore. RKO are the three most dangerous words in sports entertainment, but they're also pretty dangerous dangerous for Randy Orton too. At the Over the Limit pay-per-view in 2010, Randy Orton fought his former tag team partner, Edge. After going at it for 11 minutes, Randy began signaling for the RKO. However, as he was pounding the mat, the Viper accidentally dislocated his right shoulder. With only one working arm, Randy and Edge knew they had to abruptly end the match. Orton not so secretly told the referee to count him and Edge out, and a few moments later, this happened. Edge going for the spear, yeah! and he speared the barricade instead. And the referee, I believe, counted both men out. Usually, wrestlers get upset when they have to lose a match. However, in this next clip, the wrestler was supposed to win, but went off script and intentionally lost the match. David San Martino was the son of Bruno San Martino, who had held the WWE Championship for 4,000 days throughout the 60s and 70s. Of course, once David made his WWE debut in 1984, he had some massive shoes to fill. However, David San Martino never achieved anywhere near the popularity of his father, partially due to how WWE utilized him. David became upset with how the company was treating him, so he decided 
decided to go off script during a match. In November 1985, David San Martino was put in a match against an enhancement talent named Ron Shaw. David was supposed to dominate the match and get an easy win. However, David didn't hit a single move and instead his opponent got all the offense in. On top of that, after wrestling for only two minutes, Ron Shaw put David in a bear hug and San Martino submitted. This was the second generation wrestler's way of sticking it to WWE and he was soon let go from the company. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I really felt bad for Mark Henry in this next match. In 2015, the Intercontinental Championship was defended in an Elimination Chamber match. Wade Barrett and the Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler, started the match and everything was going according to plan. Things went completely off script though when Wade Barrett shoved Ziggler into Mark Henry's pod, causing the plexiglass to fall off. This was not supposed to happen, but it didn't make any sense for Henry to stay inside the pod, so he had to enter the match early. This led to some awkward moments where Mark Henry just stood around since he wasn't supposed to be in the match yet. The talent were able to improvise and eventually get the match back on track, and ultimately, Mark Henry is eliminated by Sheamus. This next match really shows the amazing skills that WWE wrestlers possess. The main event of the July 8th 2002 episode of Raw featured a massive 10-man tag team match. Kevin Nash was making his in-ring return after he got injured several weeks earlier. Eight minutes into the match, Nash got tagged. Almost immediately, he collapsed due to Nash tearing his quad. The other wrestlers quickly realized what was happening, and they all swarmed the ring to take the crowd's focus off Nash. Bubba Ray Dudley, who is one of Kevin Nash's opponents, went to the outside to check on his colleague. Shawn Michaels, who was hanging out ringside, then got into the ring and quickly formatted a new finish with the Big Show. All this happened in the course of about 30 seconds on live TV, which just goes to show how talented WWE wrestlers are. At Super Bowl 8, Booker T was scheduled to lose a match against the WCW World TV Champion, Rick Martel. About four and a half minutes into the match, however, plans had to change. Booker T launched Martel across the ring, causing Rick's right leg to get caught by the rope. The accident injured Martel's knee, and unfortunately, as part of the match stipulation, the winner had to face Perry Saturn immediately. Rick Martel was in no condition to wrestle a second match, so the script was flipped, and Booker won the match and the championship. However, this meant that Booker T and Perry Saturn had to wrestle an entire match without a script and no time to talk it over. Despite that, both athletes showed off their talent by calling the entire match on the fly, which Booker T also won. Unfortunately, this next match did not have a happy ending. During the 2019 Mae Young Classic, Rhea Ripley and Tegan Knox fought in the quarterfinals. Knox was meant to beat Rhea and go on to compete in the finals of the tournament, but that sadly didn't happen. Less than a minute after the match started, Knox hit Rhea Ripley with a suicide dive on the outside. However, Knox's left knee collided with the steel ramp, causing her to injure it. Instantly, Tegan Knox knew she was in trouble. <laughs> The match was briefly stopped, but Knox was given the clear to continue. However, about a minute later, Rhea Ripley hit Tegan Knox with a dropkick, which forced the referee to throw up the infamous axe and call off the match. I can't do it again. She's done. She's done. <laughs> now, to hear what was said to Tegan Knox after she got backstage, watch the video on screen.